285 red and blue balloons. She used 45 red balloons and 40% of the blue balloons. After that, the ratio of the number of red balloons to blue balloons Annie had was 1 to 3. Part A. What fraction of the blue balloons did Annie use? Give your answer in the simplest form. Now, I know she has used 40% of the blue balloons. So writing 40% as a fraction, she has used 40 out of 100, which is in simplest form, 2 fifths. Now part B. How many balloons did Annie have in the end? Now, to do this question, I'm going to draw a table. Now I'm going to draw a tic-tac-toe table with my heading as red and blue balloons and the side start change end. Now, since I know that she used two fifths of her blue balloons, that means she will have started off with five units of blue balloons. And out of the five balloons, five units of blue balloons, she used two units of blue balloons and she's left with three units of blue balloons. And since the ratio of the number of red balloons to blue balloons at the end is 1 to 3, she will have 1 unit of red balloons. Now, remember that she used 45 red balloons. That means there's a change of 45 red balloons. And in the beginning, she must have 1 unit plus 45 red balloons. Now, let's look at the total number of red balloons and blue balloons she had in the beginning. Now we know that she has used a total of 285 red and blue balloons. So I'm going to draw another column called a total column. And looking at the total column, I know that the total number of balloons used in the beginning is 6 units plus 45. So 6 units plus 45 must be equal to 285. Right, minus 45, which is 240. So I can find 1 unit easily, which is 240 divided by 6 equals to 40. Now, I want to find how many balloons did Annie have in the end. So looking at the balloons in the end, I know she has a total of 1 unit plus 3 units, which is 4 units. So the number of balloons Annie have in the end is 4 units, which is 40 times 4, which is 160 balloons. So Annie has 160 balloons in the end. So this question is using table. Please try it on your own. Fill in as much information into the table and then you solve it. It's easier using table, I think. What do you think? Do try it and let me know. Alright, see you again. I look forward to see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.